Yes, but I forgot what I was saying. You oh, want me your to secret. Your secret. This. You're secret. He's doing? avoiding and telling to talk us with secret. us. To make maybe well, I, I told you what my secret was Drink. 20 years ago. <laughs> I had a, a group of board members. One was Jose, one was Jim Beam. And every time we needed an answer, we call our board members out. I used to drink Jose Cuervo up until about a month ago until I found out it's really not 100% agave, oh. but it's 50% rum and 50% agave, so I switched. I'm now drinking vodka. That helps. Because if you wake this up... This piece was on television uh, about two weeks ago, and the only way I can paint this is I put it, lock it into my invention, which is a rotating easel. It spins 360 degrees. You can only paint on one side, so to paint the opposite side, you have to either take the canvas and turn it upside down or invent a rotating easel. Before I had my invention of my rotating easel, uh, that piece with all the spikes coming out of it is called Virtuoso. That I had a hand paint without my rotating easel, and that probably took me 400, 400 hours to paint. Oh my Acrylic paint takes about four to five coats of paint on each increment or each quadrant. So can you imagine, you'd have to be crazy to begin with to try to copy my work or paint it. It would take you forever, and you don't get paid for it. You have to have a wife that works full time. <laughs> and that's my secret, by the way. You want to know my secret? My secret is my wife works full time, brings home a paycheck every two weeks, and all I do is pay bills with it. But I make her dinner every day. And I wait on her. That's my angel. Pardon? Is it all right to pass these out? Sure, be my guest. So, to answer your question, you have to have a wife or someone to give you money every week so you can be clear-minded and be able to paint. Where do I sign? <laughs> you have to find your own wife. In the next 51 years. The reason that's called Evolved is because I then became a colorist. And a lot of women saw that in the newspaper and they wanted me to do their hair. <laughs> that's time. why I wore this. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. good Let shot photo up. It's an illusion. But you know not to touch anybody's artwork, right. correct? I use a lot of magnets mm -hmm. to build, make spaces in my artwork, and I glue them together after mm -hmm. I put them in place. And I shouldn't be doing this, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not <laughs> going to show you what happened. It's an illusion. Did you see what happened? What? Do what again? I looking. Oh, can you touch this? No. <laughs> can I? No. No. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, Illusion. Movie out. No. You have to go see it. Now see this. Now you see now me. See now you see me. Now you see me. Oh. Now you don't. But do not touch artwork because if you do, it's going to cost you money. Woo. It'll cost you. Yeah. So. My $3,000. Uh, maybe a little less. Oh. A little more. Don't forget, do not touch it and do not break it because the city of Boynton Beach will pay for it. And then we'll send you the bill. <laughs> right. Very good. Do you have any questions on that? Who has a question? What stimulates you or what, how do you decide where you want to go with what creation and what theme and what book and like this you broke out into? You would see one longer and another and then when you walk on that side you would see another but they're all the same size. So I don't know if I'm answering your question, but I like to go back and study my artwork. And when I saw something, it gives me an idea. And some of my artwork, uh, by the way, I'm influenced by a fellow who's deceased. He was a father of op art. His name is Victor Vassarelli. He was born in Hungary and moved to France. Uh, I met him in New York probably 15, 20 years ago. He didn't speak English, but he's one of my influences. So most of now, I would say is me, influenced by that, maybe the one group of gong. But people influence me too, because I like to mess with their brains when they look at my artwork. Did you know I did that? Bucks no. County? No. No. Well, let me ask you, does this make you dizzy or confused? Uh, it keeps switching. You're blinking then. And what? You're blinking. Blink.